guys. Oopsie. There we go. Hello. It's awesome to see you guys right now. Um, welcome to the vlog. Uh, the vlog where I just rant to you guys about my last read. So today we're talking about the selection. Um, I just finished reading it. It took me like two days to read. I couldn't put it down. I was eating it. I was I was reading it while I was eating, doing chores, doing school even. Um, but I kind of do that with all my books. But it was so, so, so good um, from like beginning to end. Just like I could not put it down. Um, there probably will be spoilers in this video. So I'll put timestamps in probably just so i just so you guys know <laughs> where to um sorry anyway where you guys that way you guys know where to skip to <sighs> anyway let's get right into it okay so first of all i want to talk about our lead girl um america singer she um I honestly didn't know at the beginning like why she made a lot of people mad but then I kind of started to realize like as I read on um it, my forehead is so shiny right now anyway so I kind of I kind of see like why like she makes some people mad now um anyway but then if y'all are Team Aspen, I'm sorry. I know the bio says we accept everyone here. But if y'all are Team Aspen, get off my page right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is one of the only things. This is one of the only... This is one of the only uh, love triangles where I really, really, really take a side, you know? And, like, I did it with, like, Rachel and Annabelle. Even though I've never even read the Percy Jackson series, I just, like, my best friend would, like, rant to me about how Percy Jackson was going. And she's like, oh, this girl named Rachel just blah, 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 blah. And Percy and Annabeth and blah, blah, blah. And Rachel and blah. So, yeah, I'm team Annabeth personally. Uh, but only because of what my uh, my best friend has told me. Uh, also, Gail and Peta. I am team Peta all the way. Like, if y'all are team Gail, like, yeah, you're still welcome here. But just know that, uh, just know that you're not my favorite person. Anyway, if I seem, like, upset at all in this video, guys, I am so sorry. I had a terrible night at softball practice, like, the assistant coach who's really just some dad that just came in one day and was like i own this team like literally his daughter joined the team and then he uh he like started barking orders at all the girls like he was an assistant coach when really he was not and he was telling us all where to go like completely just like he just completely like trumped the main coach and that just really made me mad uh, from, like, right from the start, and it's been like that for, like, a year now, but he was really, really angry tonight, and I can see why, because, like, there was very little effort from a lot of the girls out there, and I was, like, giving, I was putting in the effort, I wasn't necessarily giving 110%, though, uh, like I usually do, because I am just so sick of his baloney, but that's not the point, um, Anyway, yeah, so if I seem mad, that's why. Anyway, so if you're Team Aspen, I'm sorry. Get off my page because that guy is a D-bag. And if you are a man, oh, I'm sorry, I should say boy. If you are a boy who thinks that kind of, appro that kind of behavior is appropriate, then you need to get off my page. If you are a girl who has been treated like that and thinks that's normal, get help. Please, I will personally pay for your therapy. Okay. And then we have Maxin, which is like, I think, I think it's a 
safe to say we're all Max and Simps? I feel like even if like you're like a lesbian, like you're us, you're gonna be a simp for Max. Sorry, this is such a weird angle. I hate this angle. I hate this angle. Ugh, whatever. Anyway, that's a little better. What if I just like? Wait, hold on. I have an extra pillow, guys. What if I just set it up? Cause if y'all didn't know, my setup is literally just like bunching up a quilt or a pillow and using that as my set up anyway but anyway so Maxon and Aaron Warner should be the standard and I thought it was so cute like some of the things that he said to America and I thought it was so sweet that, like, he didn't just want her for her body. Which is, like, the bare freaking minimum. <laughs> like, that one point. Like, this is, like, a minor spoiler. So, you guys probably don't have to skip ahead. Because it's at, like, the very beginning of the book. And it's, like, super, super small. Uh, but at, like, the beginning of the book. Uh, America. America gets, like, a visitor from this dude. And he tells her, like, whatever the prince says, do it. Because that's not, like, a rule, but you should do it anyway. And then she thinks, like, oh, no, he's going to ask me to do the nasty. And then he wasn't going to. She need him in the groin. I just, I, I thought it was really sweet that he wasn't actually going to ask for that. But then I realized, like... That shouldn't, that should just be normal. I shouldn't have been blushing. I shouldn't have been blushing. Like, I'm sorry, but a lot of the boys in today's day and, like, in, like, the day and age, like, I feel like just want to use women, like, for their bodies and stuff. Sorry, my kids. Ugh. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Um, I might just hold the camera, actually, because I... I need to get, like, an actual, like, set up. Um, anyway. So, Maxon is kind of, I think, the only reason I'm going to continue to read the series. Um, and then we have Aspen, who I was going to try to avoid, but might as well just get it over with. Um, he's a D-bag. Total D-bag. Don't like the guy. Hate him with all my heart, soul, strength, mind, body. Hate him. I think I'm going to continue to hate him probably as the series goes on. Like, more and more. I think my hate is just going to grow progressively. Uh, which... I don't even know if, if that's, like, possible. Because, like, Gail, yeah. Like, I don't like the guy. But I flat out hate aspen sorry that's just how it is just how it is anyway and then we have marley who's probably one of my favorite characters um i feel like she emits like kind of like my energy because she's so like kind and sweet and bubbly and she just like radiates positivity and people just like want to be around her and i feel like i'm like that in a lot of ways except for the fact that a lot of people want to be around me because not a lot of people want to be around me which is good because if a lot of people wanted to be around me i would freak out i have like four friends and i kind of get a little overwhelmed when they're all like together with me in the same space because they're all on my softball team anyway Oh, and then I have, no, I have, like, six friends because, um, I have, like, six friends because I have my two, like, cousins who aren't really my cousins. How did I even get on this topic? Oh, Marley, yeah, that's right. Anyway, so I feel like she just kind of radiates. I like how she, like, radiates that positivity, you know? I think she's probably one of my favorite characters in the series, um... I, I must say, though, like, America did not make me as mad as Juliet did when I was reading the Shatter Me series, and I can kind of tell that the author was, like, trying to do that, and it wasn't the author writing, it was, like, 
the author's writing that made us mad. It was, like, the author's writing that made us mad, if that makes any sense. It's, like, she wasn't making us mad on accident. She wasn't just typing that out, and it happened to make us mad. Like, she knew it was going to get to us. She knew. And she did it anyway. You nutty, nutty, nutty. <laughs> anyway, sorry, guys. Um, but yeah, anyway, so I just really liked Marley's kind of positivity. America kind of made me mad uh, a little bit. And then Aspen really made me mad. Okay, and then I want to talk about America's family. Um, let's start with her mom, the birth giver first lady in her life um I feel like all these angles are so weird anyway so they're they're like broke right like they're scraping by barely and that's why she wanted her to enter the selection in the first place and then she like bribes her with half of her earnings like which they very very badly needed um so, I just thought that was, like, really, really, really sweet. Then we have the dad, who was so supportive and, like, loving through all of that. And I just feel like that was so cute, how, like, supportive he was. I feel like my dad would have freaked out, like, she's going to a palace to fight for the love of some man who she's never met? Oh, no, thank you. Where's my shotgun? I was kidding about the shotgun part. He would have asked for his pistol. I'm kidding. Not really. Um, sorry. Anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna rewatch this video and think about how cringy I am. Um, and then we have May and... I want to say Jasper, but I know that's not right. Yo, what's her little brother's name? I don't even know. I feel so bad. Maybe it is Jasper and I'm overthinking it. I'm just going to call him Jasper. So Jasper was really sweet and like a very small part of the series. But like then May was like so sweet and supportive and she was like bring me more food. Which honestly relatable. Relatable. So relatable it hurts. Um, I'm so close to you guys. Sorry. I was like invading your personal space. Uh, anyway, so it was, like, it was, <laughs> yeah, May was super, super cute. And then we have Co Coda, I think that's her older brother's name. Uh, yeah, don't, you can't just ditch your family like that for all that. That is my hand. I am filming this on my phone, guys. So. <sighs> Sorry. Anyway. So, Coda, like, you can't just ditch your family like that. Like, not cool, dude. And then... I don't remember her older sister's name. But I feel like she was, like, a really good sister before she got married and moved out. Um, and then we have all the other contestants. Uh, Celeste. I do not like the, the Celeste. Uh... We should, uh, this is the official petition to start calling her Detest instead of Celeste. That was a joke, not really. Um, and then... I could go back and, like, look up all the characters' names, except for the fact that I got it from a library and... After I read it, I had my mom return it because I think it was, like, the only copy there. And I was like, Mom, return it. Return it so that no other kid has to, like, wait on it. You, I'm such an abnegation sometimes. <laughs> anyway. Um. So, yeah. I think I'm definitely going to read Elite soon. Or The Prince. Because that's, like, in chronological order. Like, The Prince is what I should be reading next. Um. I'll probably read that online, though because books are expensive and they didn't have the prints at my library they had the selection elite the one uh the other two i forgot the names of the other two um 
Yeah, the Elite, the one. Anyway, I don't know, but I finished that early this morning because I was going to finish it last night, but then I started reading it, got hungry, went to go get a snack, realized it was 2 a.m. and not 12.30 like I had originally thought, so I read, I read like three more chapters because I couldn't put it down, and then I was like, wait, I have to go to sleep, so I did, and then I saved the last two chapters or three chapters for this morning. I think I stopped in like the middle of a chapter because there was like a... Uh, there was like one of those little lines, you know? Oh, sorry, way too close again. There was one of those little lines like marking like a pause in the chapter or whatever. Uh, so I think I, I think I read like two, and a, I think I left like two and a half chapters for me to read this morning. Um, and then um, if you're watching up to this point, thank you so much. I love you guys, um, by the way. So, if you guys haven't read the um, the selection yet, I would click off here. I love you guys. Have a great day. But I'm going to get into some, like, I'm going to get into some of my, like, favorite scenes. And they're probably going to have some major spoilers. So, like, feel free to click off um, just right now if you haven't read the selection yet. And just come back. Come back so we could talk about it. Like, my DMs are always open. Just, like, come back and we could talk about some of our favorite scenes from the book. Um, okay. So, let's just get right into it. Okay, so, I don't know if I should start with my favorite scene or my least favorite scene from the book. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so let me just say the first scene that comes to mind. That scene where Celeste tore America's red dress. That made me so mad. Not just because she, like, invaded America's, like, like assaulted America, but also because her maids worked so hard on that dress and her maids were so excited for it. And honestly, those maids are probably some of my favorite characters. Um, and I, it just made me so mad. Um, <clears throat> and then there was that scene where Aspen became like the guard. That also made me, that was like, <laughs> I had a Damien moment, guys. I was like, oh, no, she did not. If you guys haven't seen Mean Girls, you should go watch Mean Girls. If you are under the ages of... If you're under the age of, like, 12, do not go watch Mean Girls. But if you are, like, 12 and up, go watch Mean Girls. It's a great flipping movie, but it's probably not appropriate for people under 12. Unless you're, like, very mature. I'm getting off topic again. Uh, um... So, yeah, the scene where Aspen, like, that made me really mad. And then when he, like, slipped into her room, like, you can't invade a girl's personal, personal area like that, dude. Like, not, not chill. That was very not tactical. I'm just gonna use my feet. Because my arms are tired from practice. Uh, and my legs, honestly, too, because we did so much running. Um. Bravo. Um, and then. Oh my gosh, I keep getting these flipping notifications for YouTube. <laughs> I'm subscribed to way too many people. Um, but yeah, so I think probably, like, my birthday's coming up in May. So that's really in, like, a month, which is terrifying. Um, anyway, I think I'm going to ask for the rest of the selection series along with the rest of the Inheritance game series because I just started reading the Inheritance games today and I'm, like, 80 pages in. But, yeah, I did not have a lot of time to read today, guys. But it's probably one of the best books I've ever read like and it was I, I when I was deciding which book I should start reading today it was between that and a good girl's guide to murder and I couldn't find a coin so I got one of I got my little bath and body works like hand lotion and I took the cap off and flipped the cap to decide which one I should read uh and honestly I'm so glad that it landed on the inheritance it landed how it did because this is such a good book oh my gosh it's falling again anyway and then um 
no, 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 this is not what, half the video is going to be like, me adjusting my freaking thumb. It's wobbling like jello, that's so weird. Okay, and then some of my favorite scenes were, um, when they were just, like, in the garden chatting. Not, like, that first night in the garden, but when they would go on, like, their garden dates and stuff. Um, and then... Oh, before I start moving on to the favorites, that scene where she kissed Aspen, when she was, like, catching feelings for Maxon, but then, like kissed aspen anyway like that that was also one of my least favorite scenes okay anyway so then like the garden scene and then the scene where maxon kissed her on the forehead i just thought was so cute forehead kisses are just so cute um um and then honestly guys can i be totally real with you guys for a second Cool. Uh, I have, like, crippling anxiety with the way that my hair feels and smells. Not the way that it looks, but the way that it feels and smells. So, I fidget with my hair a lot. And sometimes I'll, I'll even do that. Because, and, and can I, could I be totally honest for a sec? I'm pretty sure it's because I read a lot. And in all those romance books I read, when they're, like, making out, he'll run his fingers through her hair and then, like, smell her hair. Which is so weird. Are you okay? <laughs> anyway, so that's one thing I have crippling anxiety about. What do you have crippling anxiety about today, guys? Let me know. Um, anyway. Um, so yeah, the scene where Maxon gave her forehead kisses, the scene where they kissed on the balcony, and... Yeah, I think those were probably my favorite scenes out of the whole book. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna... Uh, guys, I feel bad. I feel like I was so sloppy on this today. I will probably remake it one day when I'm a little bit better rested. This Daylight Savings has everyone messed up except my sleep schedule is already jacked up. And then you throw Daylight Savings into the mix. So that's not fun to deal with. Um, so I've basically been in a coma since Daylight Savings started. Um, and then... Like, I haven't been getting enough sleep at night, and, like, one day I was working out and I forgot to wash my face afterward. That was, like, three days ago, and I'm breaking out so bad. And it's... <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm not gonna bite my hair. I'm not weird. Who does that? You. You do it, don't you? It's cool. I still love you. Uh, but, yeah, I feel bad. I feel like... This was kind of like a sloppy vlog, but I'll probably make one when I'm like better rested, better adjusted to daylight savings, when I'm not so mad at a softball dad, <laughs> you know. Um. Anyway, love you guys. Have a great night. Bye.